very very tired it's like 7 30 and i just got my food order this is my second one this year like since september and this is just to restock on things when i've really run low because it saved me lugging loads back from the shops and i like to keep them some things like most things ordered in bulk frozen blueberries frozen mango courgettes I got 11 cartons of almond milk. This is the main reason I placed this food order, actually. Seaweed sheets, baked paprika crisps, water crackers, silken tofu, rice cakes, veggie rye bread, Brazil nuts, sesame seeds. Then I really wasn't sure what was in this packet and I was getting very confused but it was the cool supplement powders that I'd ordered, so wheatgrass powder and hemp seeds. Then raw cacao powder, ketchup, of course, canned ed edamame beans, lemon juice, two cans of black beans, also cannelloni beans, chickpeas, I use these so often, and whole earth crunchy peanut butter. I just spent ages making breakfast. It's now like 8.20. So it's been nearly an hour since I got the food, which is quite funny. So at the moment I am working on a poem. So every week for my creative writing module, we have to write a poem about like a set theme. So this week we have to write a narrative poem, like telling a story. I've figured out my idea and now I'm kind of going through and thinking of like images. I like kind of just jot down on a mind map the images that I think of that will go with the poem and then from those images I will write the poem. I don't know if that's a weird way to write poetry, but that's the way I do it. Look at my breakfast. Oh my gosh. I'm trying hemp seeds for the first time. Put like every topping imaginable on this. I've also got a crumpet. Why is that? Number one, because there's no room left in the freezer, so I wanted to take these out and like eat it so it doesn't go to waste. Um, also, last night I really wasn't hungry but that meant i woke up feeling very hungry and so since i am really hungry i thought i would have porridge and a crumpet so i'm gonna eat this i'm gonna have my crumpet with some peanut butter and tomato i always thought peanut butter and tomato would be like an absolutely gross combination but it goes together so nicely i've never had peanut butter on crumpets so i'm kind of excited So here is me working on my creative writing poem. I'm just using my mind map to string everything together. I just arrange the images and the little lines that I've jotted down into stanzas and I like to think of it as something of like a musical composition because you're having to slot together these images in a very certain way in order to portray effect and I really enjoy the process of it. Then I have this little homework tracker, so I just filled in the box to say that I'd done my creative writing homework for this week. So every week we are set probably around like 10 to 12 poems to read from this anthology and then we just have to have to think about them in preparation for our seminars. As you can see, I like to page flag the ones that we do so that they're um, easy to find. The first thing I do is just go through with my page flags and mark all of them. I mean, how satisfying is this? Then the next thing I did was get on to doing this poetry work so I just went through and put in all the page flags first and then I read through each of the poems which I don't think I actually filmed me doing um, and just made some quick notes and annotations and then we also had some questions to answer and this video to watch so I did that and I just wrote all of this up into my notebook. Okay, I've read all the poems and I have just been watching this John Aginton 
or listening to this mm -hmm. John Argenton ice music sound thing, which is very nice. Pick this off my to-do list. I've actually been using my bullet journal every day and I love it so much. And also, as you can see, I've got this mini homework chart. Then I got to tick that off my homework chart again. It's so satisfying. And then I just read some of Persuasion. So I had to get this finished for this week. And um, I read around 80 pages here. I've got to say, I still am not convinced by Jane Austen. I really didn't enjoy reading Persuasion. I liked it more than Mansfield Park and Pride and Prejudice, but only marginally. And unfortunately, I've got to say that I am not a Jane Austen fan yet. Okay, I am now going to do a quick workout. I do one workout in my room every day and usually I do it in the evening, but because on Mondays and Tuesdays I go to the gym after lectures in the evening, I don't like to see the workout when I get back. I'd rather kind of stagger it and do it a little earlier, so I'm going to do that now. You can say I lost my mind and I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down strength of luck I managed to get to the station with like a minute late and then I like the train was delayed by eight minutes so I still managed to catch it which is amazing so I did get the right train which I'm very happy about and it's pretty empty I'm just going to finish persuasion I'm now here in Exmouth and I've got an optician's appointment. This is an appointment for, very excitingly, I'm doing the, I'm doing a partnership with AccuView, which are the contact lenses I use. And the optician is so nice. Like, I would 100% recommend this optician's. This is the optician's and if you are based near Exmouth or Exeter, I would wholeheartedly recommend. I actually have no idea how I did that. My optician's appointment isn't until next Wednesday at 3.20. Oh my gosh, now I've got to wait another hour for the next train as well. Oh. So I've now got like an hour to kill an Xmas, but it's nice. I've had like a two hour day trip. So I had an hour to kill as I said, so I went down to the seafront, not actual Axmas Beach because I didn't want to walk that far and I wanted to be close to the station, but I found this little bank which was really muddy, but the sea air was really clean. It was just really nice. I sat down, I went on a little walk across the marshland and tried not to slip over because it was really slippy. And then I found a bench to sit down on and I read some more of Persuasion whilst also snacking on my Colin the Caterpillars, which I just bought from m &S. Colin Caterpillar is probably my, well, it is my favorite sweet. They are so, so delicious, but so addictive and definitely my food guilty pleasure. having to get the bus which is really annoying because I had to pay for a bus ticket when I already had a return ticket for the train but the second train was cancelled as well so I needed to get back otherwise I would have missed my lecture. Oh and I'm in John Lewis at the moment because my mum got these massage vouchers for her birthday and she said she's going to use them to like she's going to give one to both my sister and I so I want to get her a little bit to say thank you. I am like 
80% sure that I caught a really bad chill from being at Exmouth and just waiting around for that train for so long because I was on the platform for ages because it was delayed and then they only last minute said it was cancelled which was very frustrating. Plenty of public completely absolutely freezing so honestly I'm convinced that I'm going to get cold now because of this. I also have this huge thing about wasting time and so the fact that I've spent like as I was saying, that I've managed to pretty much waste three hours of my day, because it's been three hours and 45 minutes since I left to go to the station. I just don't know how I managed to mess that up and get the wrong time, because I definitely, I put it in my calendar as I booked the appointment. Very annoying. I'll probably leave in like 10 minutes, but I want to get changed into sports stuff first, because on Wednesdays, because on Tuesdays I go straight to the gym after my lectures. Okay, I've had some parcels come. Let's open those before I leave. Two books for university. Oh yeah, so this book, which is set, it's um, History of Anorexia. It was actually on our reading list to read for criticisms, so I decided to order this book. I also finally ordered this book. This is the set text for creative writing and I thought I could get away with not buying it because it's an anthology and I could just find the poems online but there's not really any um you know extra information in the book so it just felt like a waste of money to buy this when I could look at the poems online but we are using it quite a lot in seminars so um I said I would buy it and so I bought it this is the final thing we've got a present for my friend for her birthday which looks really tattered. Oh no. It's come not looking very new. And I'm excited about this. I ordered some maca powder um, to start putting in my porridge and cereals and things because it's meant to be really good for you. And this bra looked very good. So there's my little haul. And now I'm going to get changed into my gym stuff so I can go to my lecture. So then I had my lecture, here's just after the lecture because I don't like to film in lectures as I've said. Straight afterwards I went to the gym, I like to go to the gym for an hour on Tuesday evenings, so until 7.30 and I have a set routine of things that I do. I start off on the running machine. I'm so red and sweaty, so I start with doing just under 10 minutes on the running machine and now it's growing. Feel your back from the gym and looking very sweaty. <laughs> I always grab myself a kombucha. This is my favourite one. And I really struggle to do work when I get back from the gym, like to be productive. So I usually watch a few YouTube videos and answer emails or something, which is quite low maintenance. I don't tend to do work on Tuesday and Monday nights. I've now watched some YouTube and finished my kombucha and I am going to work on just doing some laptop organisation bits. I'm really trying to digitally declutter and I'm not really in the mood for work as I said so this is a really cool thing to do now and I'm also going to do a meal plan because I haven't done that yet. I didn't do that on Sunday and I should have done and then I'm going to plan for tomorrow. So, as I said, I'm just doing some planning here, so I'm making my meal plan, which is just good for reducing food waste and making sure that I've got all the food in I need. And then I made a master to-do list for tomorrow, um, which I love to do just to make sure that I stay organised. And yes, that is everything I did this day, so thank you for watching this video and I hope that you have a productive week.